Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients. I'm Cyphus, I'm sitting here with Roland. Hello! And Easy McKeezy joining us. Yo, 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 yo. I'm glad when we get to do all three of us on these recordings. Yo. Yeah, it's it is really really fun. Yeah. I'm just like it's my favorite thing to ever do, ever. Yeah. No, sorry. I'm just like messing with this mic. Do, do I sound weird? No, you don't sound weird to me. Okay. Not anymore. All right. All right. You did earlier, but now you don't. Okay. Uh, I think I always sound weird. Weirder than you normally sound, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For clarification. <laughs> Uh, uh, so yeah, the, the I guess I don't know. The first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, how miserable the Marsh. Where are we? What the fuck are we doing here? What is this show? Oh yeah, this is a Dota Two podcast. Well, Jesus it's a, it's a gaming Christ. podcast, but we talk almost exclusively about Dota Two. Let's be honest. Uh, Gotten so sloppy in your <laughs> intros. Well, we haven't recorded like in two weeks. Yeah, and and all of his brain goes to the. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> to his brink, rolling it in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, bringing it out the gate and face planting. <laughs> at least someone, at least someone around here has some showmanship, you know. Uh, Man, then, you used to say like, you? "Welcome to Defense of the Patients" and all this other kind. Of, we're we're a Dota Two podcast, yeah. mostly. Man, you used to have this whole spiel, yeah, man, yeah. and now it's like, "Hey, everybody." I'm Cyphus, this is Roland and Easy, and, uh... What I, I, said, what I, I said welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients. What I kind of wanted to talk about today was... <laughs> it's like, no really? <laughs> We're just jumping right into that? Roll back the tapes. <laughs> I, I, inter- I introduced God. the title of this show. Damn it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Defense of the Patients. Uh, it's funny that we got our, our wish come true with getting to the top of our Dota, but it was plagued with, like, your audio sucks. I know. <laughs> It's like whatever, dude. You, literally, you get there, you enjoy it. Be careful what out. you wish for. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, yeah. I did some like black magic to get to the top of our Dota too, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> only with death can come a good meme. And it's like, okay. Anyway, that was cool. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, for those who I, I can't imagine anybody that normally listens to the show hasn't listened to it, but the the post on Reddit was about the Wednesday show with Nahas uh-huh. uh, with Korean barbecue and uh, uh, with True. God, thank God it wasn't the Nahas episode that we first did, where I was like, so so my favorite color was was blue, and I was I was wondering, is your favorite color blue? And he's just like, really? Like, oh my God, we have so much. In- I want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, sand, sands your sands your sands uh, gushing. your gushing. Yeah, uh, that that episode was was still one of my favorites because that was where like totally. I mean, we had Nahas was definitely the time the biggest guest we'd had on the show, and oh uh, yeah, it was like, dude, we just like fucking well, just his academic famous, background, man. getting into that, and you and I were both like in the heat of our college educations and really falling in love with academia with and science yeah. and mm-hmm. and uh, having some like him on who is somebody who has an absolute passion for all of that mm-hmm. that i don't know that that made for one of my favorite episodes still to this day one of my favorite conversations we've had on the show you can hear it in the conversation that you guys were just like we're glowing painted yeah infatuated with well it was guest, just it was which a is fun. awesome dude it's, yeah i remember that uh, I remember those days. <laughs> I mean, so you were ago. doing guild chat around that time. Um, yeah, uh, was like back in the guild chat days. Back in the guild chat days. Shout Which, out to everybody that got chat snatched. Well, what? <laughs> I mean, even, uh, yeah, like super villains even got chat snatched. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. It was, so, you never even villain. you never even knew that was yeah. gonna get man <laughs> who knew who we chat who we would chat snatch and what would happen down the road with yeah. the same individual oh, snatch. So <laughs> funny. So funny where he's like fucking weird small dota world we live in. Yeah. <laughs> well let's just we'll we'll put it ambiguous like this that somebody the easy chat snatched turned into somebody that we had some like semi serious discussion with and he's like, um yes, one time I was pulled out of my will into a room and recorded. <laughs> and and easy like... said that was called getting chat snatched, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And a show called Guild Chat. Respect it. And it was so funny and I was like, yep, that would have been Eric. <laughs> that would have been easy. I, I did that to you, man. That was my favorite chat snatch ever. <laughs> no, there were, there were some good things that you did in, in Guild Chat that uh, it was I... a, that was a fun show, man. It was yeah. a, it, that show that show was a hundred percent focused on building our community that you know had started to spring up around the podcast that you guys were doing at the time like exclusively you know and we were just kind of kicking it on the side playing games analogy time 
Sorry, analogy oh, time. Got okay, bring it out. So you dude. go, you go to a hotel, right? And you can watch any channel you want, but you can watch the hotel's channel. Okay. Oh my god. You know, what? Yeah, the hotel okay. channel talking about everything that's happening inside the hotel, uh-huh. the the different restaurants that are at the hotel and whatnot. Is that's that what where Guild Chat. That's was what Guild Chat was. Yeah, it was for the nobody community. watches those hotel channels. I, I don't do. know if that's a compliment, bro. Uh, it's not. <laughs> I do. You are one in a million, sir. I as watch usual. those. This explains your <laughs> miserable taste in film. This explains your hatred Guild of Edward Norton. Like public access television where the community <laughs> could post bulletins. <laughs> Uh, video. I, I watched that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'd like to know what oh, restaurant man. is in my hotel or, or what you know. It was fun, man. Yeah, it, it, it we was. we all felt we all felt like we belonged because we were all into <laughs> your guys' show, and that show just gave us all a place to hang out and talk. And and I don't know. Thanks for letting us do it, man. It, it why it, are you talking? A lot of those a lot of those people that were involved then are very prominent members in our community now. So yeah. if, it, if it played a part in them sticking around or them feeling like they were they belonged, then I'm was happy to do it. Exactly. And I guess this is a perfect lead in easy. Thank you. You're always good at that. You're always good at throwing the ball uh, in the right direction. I don't have the outline in front of me. Um <laughs> there is no outline, but that's a good <laughs> that's a good lead in to uh, welcoming the newest member of Defense of the Patients, um, Captain Silver Fox. Um, he's been on the show a couple of times before, but he has officially come on to help us with some serious issues that we have. You can find these serious issues at defenseofthepatients.com. <laughs> if you just <laughs> go there, just go to our website and Man, you will see. I can't wait to have a real website. Yeah. Oh, and it's the mock ups that he's doing and the, and the work that he's putting yeah. into it. And I mean, here pretty soon, you guys are going to be able to. Uh, we're going to go ham on, uh, let's say, shit that you can buy that's .p related. Okay? So you want a phone case with the .p logo? No big deal. You want a coffee cup with the .p logo? No big deal. You want a fucking backpack with the .p logo? No big deal. Sheets? Pillow you got cases. it, Billy Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll decorate your whole room uh, in top yeah. B- Billy Bob. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some queen-size defense of the patient sheets for the better home. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, man. You dude. can say we struck a deal with. I'm going to get some defense of the patient's moist towelettes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> to, to, to damp your face with? So, uh, no, yeah. to catch my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, there we go all right hasn't um, it's yeah, yeah it felt like good. it had been a while since you've been on but not really now yeah no <laughs> not, yeah, not long enough brother. <laughs> you know, like i'm back to work dude my pr filter is on nearly 24 7 this is where i come to be free <laughs> and not even wearing any clothes right now god damn what another great lead in throwing the ball it's a hail mary roland catches it and takes the conversation <laughs> oh, in a great place yeah. which is which this, never happens on this show ever that's bullshit <laughs> this community is uh i i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about the c word for a second okay oh, no. it's cool man it's cool okay we're seeing all sorts of new people we're seeing all sorts of new downloads so if this is you know the first five episodes of dot p that you've listened to or the first three welcome aboard um this has been a, a pet project for a lot of people. Me, Easy, and Cyphus have put in blood, sweat, and tears. Not to say that other people haven't, but on getting this to something that we never even dreamed of. Yeah. So a big thank you to everybody. Um, that like you have made our dreams come true. The Make a Wish Foundation. Yeah, uh, just made it a fun. <laughs> yeah, this like, actually fun. was my Make a Wish, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this yeah, was no. my Make a Wish. So basically, what we're saying is easy. We're now done here with Easy. We we <laughs> allowed him to be on a gaming podcast. And now he can go peacefully into the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go shoot me in the backyard after this. <laughs> oh no, old no. yeller style. <laughs> old yeller. <style. laughs> And an easy tulip will come out from the ground, dude. <laughs> the, the following oh, spring. The number of times you've wished for the easy tulips. <laughs> oh my god! But the community has made this a really fun project. It really program. has. Oh, um, it's and, it, yeah. it's a hobby. Okay, it's still a hobby for all of us. Like Easy said, he's in full work mode, so he's in full PR mode. I I, I, I don't know. I feel done calling it a hobby. I, at this point, like it's taking up consider like. We put in. I mean, you you work too hard on it. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Then slow down, dude. Take it no, to the hobby well, level. I'm just saying, like we've we like it's fun to work on. It's absolutely sure. fun to work on. But it's that's what hobbies are. 
It's definitely something that, like, we, like the we, people we're that build to airplanes, that. dude, that model airplanes, they're having a great time. It is generally fun for them to, like, take the Yeah, but the... it's something sure. different when they take the picture of that model airplane and they put it on a coffee cup or a backpack or a. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sheets. Yeah, <laughs> it, like, if you're talking about so, merchandising, like, at that point, I feel like it's improper to call uh, it a hobby. Imagine if, I any, any longer. imagine if I conceived my baby uh, with dot P sheets. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God. that would be oh. great. You know, he'll, he'll, he or she will have a little dot P beanie on for sure. Oh yeah, dude. I know. <laughs> I think that's how genetics work or yeah. evolution yeah, how, or whatever. Not and, born with it on, like you'll put it on after. Yeah, I guess I don't know. In uh, case anybody was wondering, yep, I have a pregnant wife. Uh, I'm gonna have a kid. I'm happy. Um, we can move woo! on from that. We can move on from that. I'm sorry, <laughs> like. Thought it's gonna come out, came out, Lord let it out. I'm having a baby. There's gonna be a little rolling. Spoilers. Uh, Spoilers. I'm gonna get him on the mic at six months. I figure at that point he can maybe surpass me. You know, he's gonna need a lot of work in order yeah. to surpass my skills. So I'm gonna get him started young. I don't even know it's a him. It's just a little bean right now. Anyway, exciting news though. Excited. Derailing. Yeah, totally <laughs> derailing. It's it's a weird thing. Like all the older people in my family, like people who like my grandma or so I'm like congratulate oh my this is life changing and like it is yeah absolutely it is uh it's major life changing bro <laughs> <laughs> but like i don't know I'm excited for it i feel like that's a a good a, a good you know uh sentiment to have toward it like i'm sure there's a lot of people who when they find out the person they <laughs> had sex with is pregnant that they weren't excited i'm gonna give you like two more weeks of being excited about it before i just start making fun of you about it i won't i'm not like gu- i'm not like gushing uh, yeah. no, no, no 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 like i mean i mean just in general like you know. i don't think you should even give me a two-week allowance i think this is my only time that i can okay. talk about it because yeah. i'm not i'm not gonna be no. the type of dad that's gonna be taking pictures of me with my ugly little baby no i just i'm and, saying you and know and like whoa, whoa. no it'll be a cute it'll be a cute baby, baby to me but i hate <laughs> I hate baby pictures, okay? Yeah. Kids you, look weird when they're You first send born. me a baby picture, it's going in the garbage. We've already gone over this topic. No, All the, infants infants don't fuck? infants don't look like like I don't like baby pictures, dude. Until like ten days into like, their infancy. I am glad that like you know You mean like newborns or what? You think they just look like little aliens? I'm talking like so specifically, this is going back to an episode you may have even been on it easy, I don't know. Where people were sending me a bunch of Christmas cards. With their fucking families and the newborn babies and all of them, and I'm not gonna be like that. No way. No Christmas cards. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? Dude. I don't. I don't want people dude. to have to to go through that. I because I, I look, don't like I, to I go throw away it. Christmas he, cards too. He I, says yeah. that, but then he's gonna come home one day, Cyphus, and he'll be like, "Check it out," and lift off his shirt, and his baby's face is gonna be like on <laughs> the middle of his back, tattooed on. <laughs> I got it done today. <laughs> They're doing the color next week, but this is a shading, rough outline. Yeah, shading and color is gonna be next week after a couple of these scabs heal up. I barely even cried. I barely even screamed. Like they they fucking were said I was pretty tough. Probably the toughest guy with a baby on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure things will set in a little bit more and become a little more like uh, apparent when, like, it's apparent that oh, she's pregnant. Apparent, uh, apparent. Like you'll be a parent. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad you guys apparent. caught that, dude. Yeah, I'm glad it. you guys yeah. caught that. Uh, oh, dude, cleverly so worded. Thick. Clever. <laughs> That's what people describe me as. I think. Yeah. In my <laughs> high school, is a year book. It's like. Roland. Oh, dude, you tell me. You tell me how you're. You're. You are clever, dude. You're yeah, clever. Fucking... I saw you work in the TI floor. I've heard about your conversations that you've had with various people that you needed to get things from, not dot p related, more like school related. You're. You're fucking good, dude. You know how to. I, he's you a know how to wheel and deal and play the game. He's a motherfucking. I guess that's one way to say it. Yeah, he's a weasel. I don't know what you guys are even fucking yeah. talking to. Yeah, yeah, talking. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Are you talking to me? About all this? Is this about? Because that's not me, man. Man, yeah. congratulations yeah. on the kid, though. That's yeah. really cool, dude. That's. I'm not asking you for your fucking Cyphus? congratulations. Well, yeah, of course you can say congrats. Like we gotta say congratulations. And, no, and, yeah, you guys, my like, friends, you don't need to congratulate. No, that's a good. Man. That's a thing you can. No, it's like good on. because I know how hard you've been trying. 
Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. And I know how many times you it's, failed. Oh, so it's God. nice that the seed finally took root. It was, you know what I'm saying? It did, yeah, it was rough. Apparently, uh, all the like, tries. The was, rolling seed, not too strong. No. Like, all of his retarded <laughs> circle swimmers that, like, could not <laughs> make up the stream, dude. Finally, dude, one of them just banged his head into the wall enough that it got in. <laughs> oh, dude, and I'm sure it was loud the whole time. I'm sure it was just like, hey, get out of my way. I'm coming in that door. Yeah, you get out of here. My biggest fan. <laughs> You're my biggest <laughs> fan. You're my biggest <laughs> fan. You're my biggest fan. <laughs> Imagine a million little spermlings all saying you're my biggest fan to each other, dude. Yeah, that's about how it has to happen. Oh, oh, that's funny. God, dude. That's a funny image. That, that will be in the animated short that we make happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a bunch of circle swimmers get, saying they're each other's biggest fans. <laughs> They're falling asleep uh, on couches. Star Wars is you know, you saw, You've seen the videos of like the one that's just sitting there chasing its tail, and you're like, oh. <laughs> that one is no, not okay. I honestly do hope a good one got through. Because, I mean, <laughs> yeah, there are millions of them, right? Is that the best of the best gets through, right? I mean, yeah. that's yeah. how it makes it. Oh, I, I hope. There's a lot of competition. Because I have to love it no matter what. <laughs> like, I will. hope it You actually won't even have to well, force thankfully. yourself. <laughs> Thankfully, no you're only what. responsible for about 50% of the genetic material, so it's going to be oh, right. The other 50% you know is, is You know what is really actually true is that no matter what you think about, talk about, or joke about, all the way up until the point where you like lay your first eyes on that kid, you have no idea how it's going to change you. And then when you do that, you'll just be changed, and there's no going back. I like already... I Told her I didn't want it to have is... anything to do with the child's life for the first five years. So I won't that even know that. That is so tribal. There's a... <laughs> I will come in at five years and I will, I will discipline the Discovery child. I've seen Discovery Channel show where they're just like, no, you don't even look at them. You don't touch them. If any other human touches them, you kick them out of the nest. <laughs> no, I know. It's, it's just, it is all setting in for me. But thank you for the congratulations. Thank you, everybody else out there. Because I found out, it was weird. Game one of the stream happened. Okay, and I, I did the hosting thing and was like, okay, we're going to listen to game one. And Audrey comes in here and she's like, I need to talk to you. And I was like, okay. And she's fucking pregnant. And it's like, okay, that's crazy. And then like the next time I'm hosting, I'm like, hey, guys. What's well, up? back to the in-house. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like sh sitting there like shivering, looking at the camera like, oh my God. Like, it's all right. That stellar performance was promptly followed up by Saturdays, wherein you fell asleep and took a nap during game one. <laughs> I saw that picture. That was my. That was all I got to participate was seeing that picture, but it brought joy to my heart. We went to an Indian restaurant, okay? And this this Indian <laughs> restaurant was a. It's a very good one. And for all of you who have had Indian cuisine, uh, it is. You kind of eat until you you drop. Uh, or at least that's my take on Indian food. Like, I don't... There's no reason to stop ever. Yeah, sure. Just consuming it. You just wait for yourself to make room, you know? So, basically... Uh, or go comatose. Yeah, it was it was a buffet. I, I ordered a, a big beer with the food, and, and I went to, the, you know, several heaps of food. Um, <laughs> and ate it all, and then came back here and did the hosting, and... And I go to sit down on the comfy chair in in the uh, which I'm sitting on now. And I say to you, and he, don't go to don't fall asleep. And I said, dude, shut up. I probably was like, shut up, dude. I'm just <laughs> resting my eyes, like making sure everything's going okay. Like I'm listening. No, <laughs> no your initial response was, I could micro nap between games. <laughs> No, I did. Really can you, I did. I did. Hey, who was there to host? Uh, me. Yeah. For game three, I mean, bro. Yeah, yeah it was only two games you micro napped straight through. <laughs> I needed it. Dude. That's a two-hour micro nap. It was. It was quite the micro nap. Yeah. That's just called a nap. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have to look at my Twitter. Like my phone's blown up by the time I've woken up from people favoriting and retweeting. <laughs> What, our fearless leader? What was that yeah, about? I got a lot of... Why'd yeah. you say I'm the leader? Well, you're the leader of the stream, you know? You're supposed to be there leading the leading uh, the performance while I the thought, rest of us are adminning. I thought thankfully. I was getting a promotion on air. Oh, Honestly, yeah. is no, what I was waiting no, for. No. Is that I was probationary the, intern. <laughs> yeah, all the way to leader. Like, I knew it was a big jump, but I was hoping that it might happen that <laughs> way. About goddamn time. <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna go in great phases. Effort. We might make you a contractor soon. <laughs> a contractor? Yeah. Hey, can I charge ridiculous hourly rates? No, we're gonna set That's the rates. That's up to you. <laughs> 
yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's up to you. Okay. Yeah. So Dota. A long time ago, I tried to start the show about Dota. Yeah, I want to talk about Dota because we've actually all been playing it like more than we usually have in some episodes. Like I would say yeah. that we. Uh, yeah. And um, together. Yeah. And together. Um, we had. I had. I. I don't know what. It, I think it was Thursday night easy, or maybe it was Friday night. Where we played a bunch, um, we played, you know, it's just been fun. Thursday night, yeah. yeah Thursday, Thursday night. night, yeah. Tons of games. Where we played, like, you were like, I'm going to play Black Desert Online, and it's like 9 p.m., 8 p.m. your time, and then all of a yeah, sudden... Yeah, dude, I was ready. And then 4 a.m. rolls around, and we've played, like, 11 games of Dota together. Yeah, you're like, gotcha, motherfucker. How about like, that Black Desert? I was like, fuck you. Yeah, it's like, I'm tired. <laughs> there were a couple bed, times, I, like, there was a couple times I said, like, all right, after this game, I'm gonna yeah, switch over. And, and like, I just started no, the search. not. And then you tried yeah. to do the same the same technique with me, where you started the search when I was like, all right, I'm done, but we're still in a party <laughs> and bullshitting. And he started <laughs> yeah. the search, and I, I caught it, and it was like, I, was I canceled it. I pop all you there's no backing out at that point, dude. Yeah. No, I would, you can't. I would have accepted, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even know how to find the decline button anymore. Remember that? The decline button? Yeah. That you'd accidentally uh, click? I'm the so no thanks, of the The no thanks, I'll dude. keep my MMR button? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I'd, I'd rather get plus 20 or plus zero. Did you hear that? I thought that was a cool idea. If what? you... So say your internet goes out or your power goes out, which has happened to us all, and you've had to abandon a game. I would say I have like I have a bunch of games and I only have 34 abandons. Like it's less than one percent of all my games. Um, uh, to if you come back in the game and your team wins, that you get a plus zero. So you don't you don't gain what the team would gain, but you don't lose what the team. But you don't lose like because how many times have you seen that where four people go up plus 25 and then the one dude who stayed and actually did help. But got minus twenty five in an abandon. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he stayed through for the entire game, so you would know that. Okay, I got the abandon. I'm still going to get low prio, but I'd rather lo- not lose MMR. You know, know what I mean? Yeah. I I'll um, stick through and fight. I had a I had a guy troll. Uh, I, I do think that's a good idea not to com- not to derail. Yeah. Derail I think it's a good idea. I read about it. And read but it. I had a guy troll me in a game. Uh, this is like two or three weeks ago. But by not my idea. That I made that very clear. Right. That that wasn't my idea. Uh, that wasn't yes. my idea. Clear, it okay. Clearly understood. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> just don't no be plagiarizing, no <laughs> okay. idea snatching yeah. going on here. Okay. This is original content. Just hey. making sure. Brought so... to you by Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, brought to you by Red Bull, please. Like, let's just do that brought until they start sending me Red, Red Bull. Bull. Yeah. Because sure. it's getting expensive. I'm going to have a baby. Like, if I have to choose between diapers and Red Bull, you guys know what I'm going to choose. Yeah, it's so, going to be a tough call. Yeah, it's no, be a tough Red call. Bull, obviously. Yeah. Like, we'll figure it out with the kid. I've got to have the Red yeah. Bull. So oh, they got, you know, those reusable diapers. The ones you can yeah, well, yeah, you know, we'll do something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that'll be a good time. Hold <laughs> it over the toilet when we so think it needs to, to go. Do, I had to do Troll Me in a Game by g- intentionally getting an abandon and then hanging around so that we couldn't sell a shit. Oh, what a dick. Yeah. Yeah, I had that. Was I in that game with you? No. I, I was in the game where the person AFK'd for so long, got an abandon. Never, like we remember, it was wasn't it? You rolling think, it was a yeah, rape no, thing. We like, couldn't yeah. sell the person's items or Be, anything. No, because what he did is he didn't disconnect. Right. He just left his hero in the fountain, and then so we have to wait. What about his life? Yeah, and and then went about his life, and then so we have to wait five minutes for him to even get an abandon, <laughs> and then for some reason, but he kept popping in and like sending himself to the small camp, so like he wouldn't well, get an abandon, but oh, so really? we couldn't oh, he, sell so his he, shit. He didn't get an abandon. He eventually did, and we were eventually able to sell a ship. But then he came back again, and then st- started leeching his one gold per second. You know, which we like which, divvied up. You know, which yeah, gave us twenty five more, twenty five percent more gold. It's twenty five percent more gold, yeah. natural gold, right? Um, and he came back, and then he got another item. And then he left, and we sold it. And then you know he'd come back and get another item, and left, and we sold it, and we lost. It sucked, but yeah, yeah, I remember that. Now there's. Ugh. So much abuse. So much abuse I've suffered at the hands of fellow Dota 2 players. It, and it's abuse with no cause. They are literally, for the first time ever that I've seen in my life, rebels without a cause, dude. Like, the, these these trolls in Dota 2. Like, there's, there's nothing to gain. Like, especially the Twitch people who, like, come on and then after you ban them, they whisper you. And, like, go yeah. for, like... And they try and be as cutting as possible using the w- words, like, cunt and fuck. And, like, I've heard that I have a box head. 
I've heard that. that you fucking oh box head. God. You have a box head. <laughs> and it's like they're trying to, like, I don't know, like, get under my skin or, like, hurt my feelings or whatever, which definitely doesn't happen because everybody's my biggest fan. How could my feelings ever get hurt? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If everybody's my biggest fan, like, really, my feelings never the will be hurt. Misguided sheeple. Yeah, he was just a misguided fan of mine. That's all. I have a lot of this. <laughs> yeah, here's, yeah, here's the last one. He must one. have been into some of your older content. Oh, holy <laughs> God. This guy went on oh, forever. forever. Yeah, forever. So, Can we call this Tales from the Trench? I mean, sure, you know. If you Tales want. from the but this guy. So this is from our Twitch. This is from this is from Twitch. Uh, yeah, and screw. It. Let's let's identify these. Yeah. What's his box. name? What is his uh, name? This kid is awful. L M A O. What do you mean? That's his name. That's his name. This kid is awful. Laugh my ass off. Yep. Okay. Uh, he says uh, the white guy looks like Mr. Bean, and the square-looking guy looks like a guy that <laughs> sticks his fork in your plate at a cookout. That's good. Hey, that's actually pretty good, dude. <laughs> like, those are... He's using describing words. He's painted a, a picture. Is there more? Uh, oh, and then he cuts and pastes that, like a f- true genius, uh, about 30 times, and then okay. follows it up with, By the way, did you just force your dog to sit on your lap, you fucking pedo? Oh, yeah. That guy. And I read all that aloud, and I think we're just encouraging more people to come on our show. We probably oh, are. Fuck, uh, yeah, you are. Because <laughs> we're giving attention to the person. We're, yeah, Bring the heat. attention, yeah. Oh, no, I, th- I think it's funny, though. We, we could have a special section to read the, the, the random people that wander into the Dopian houses. Yeah, there are other. <laughs> there's a miserable fox. Well, <laughs> we've already identified that, like, you say 66% of the community is, is I, horrible I, fox. I think, <laughs> honestly, sometimes I wonder. 60- Six. Yeah, no. guys, I love you all. I can't believe this type of snakes. Eric's like, damage control. First of all, that's damage not the dot. First of all, that's not the dot P community because that doesn't get that, tolerated and everybody is ultra friendly. Yeah, dot P's community is fucking 100%. I, I mean player bases at large. And I'll be honest, like it, it like I talked about it on the stream while I was hosting for, for Napper over there. Um, I in Hearthstone even like, I'm the Dota napper. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. In, in Hearthstone Kinda even like the cat rapper. There is no way for you. And for those who don't know, with Hearthstone, there's only six options for you to communicate with another player, you, and they are pre-programmed things. Thanks, sorry, uh, greetings, uh, whoops, uh, well played, and something else. I felt like you said more than six, but go uh, on. that's five. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm just going to lean this chair back a little bit. Okay, All right. I think I can yeah. take my no, naps excuse, during the podcast. You can fall during <laughs> excuse me, excuse me for being the boring one. Uh, no, but, I'm not bored. I'm intrigued. <laughs> so even in Hearthstone, you you get players who uh, if they think they're if they think they're about to wreck you, just start spamming sorry, 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 sorry. And even in a game where the the communication is that severely limited, you still get fuck back. People are going to find a way to be addicted no matter what, dude. And, and, and no, you get man. people who add you immediately after a game to tell you, you what, know what we you know, need to do? how terrible you are. We need to make the internet great again, is I what we need to do. Is that we need to build yeah. a big firewall. A firewall <laughs> from the from the end of the internet to the to the start of the internet, okay? Right. And, and have a big white firewall, okay? But they can come in through. And we're going to make all the dicks pay for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll just, yeah, make make the internet great again. If you're working for Trump, it could work for us, <laughs> damn it. Hey, oh, yeah. Super fucking working. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad I coined that. What is the date today? Today is uh, April 3rd. Um, uh, the, and the I coined Trump... the term "Let's make the internet great again." Oh, okay. okay, that's what you're doing. Yeah, that's what you're yeah, Yes. Okay. Is, okay. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. think that okay. feels semi-original. Yeah. yeah. I, All right. Yeah, okay. I'm sure nobody's ever known <laughs> a million trillion. They haven't coined it. Phrase. They haven't coined it on I'm, air. I'm gonna Google before it. Before April third, two thousand sixteen. Let's make the internet great again. Sign Roland. Okay. I'm intellectual good. property belongs to me. Okay. Wow. You want that? All rights reserved. Yeah, all rights reserved. Sponsored mm, yeah. by Red Bull. Thank Ton of stuff pops much. up the moment I search, let's make the internet great again. I'm sorry. But I'm does sorry. the f- specific phrase, yes. let's make the yes. internet great again. Yeah. They, um, they weren't on a podcast about video games. So they, I think, somewhere in oof, the copyright laws. Yeah. 
that yeah. we can. It was just the. We're uh, really splicing this one, dude. <laughs> just the Huffington Post. It's because we need to make the internet great again. That's okay. the, the the title of an article about Trump, which probably makes the firewall. I mean, we could even hire two good. Huffington Post we could get too good as our Secretary of State. Thing. You know, too good as the Secretary of State. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make him go around. Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great. Good times. Didn't good he times just be... kind of take off? He's right off into the sunset. What's he been yep. up to? I haven't heard anything. He's just doing his thing, I'm sure. Everybody's gearing up for the Manila majors. Are you guys going to get the compendium? That's what I'm most excited about. Yeah, of course I'm going to buy it. I'm yeah, because I buy it. Hey, dude, I'm yeah. it. If, everybody's listening, if everybody's listening to this show on Monday, three days until TI tickets go on sale. Yep. Um, should we share with people... What we're doing not, for the international? Not what we're doing. Hell no, man. Okay. I'll share with you where you can meet us. <laughs> not when yeah. I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I'm, I'm, can, I, can I broadcast the address? Of, uh, of should I just should I tell people? No. Um, Let's just tell them if you get to come back to that place, you'll be extremely lucky and you only have to sit on my lap twice. <laughs> <laughs> but there will be grinding. Uh, uh, well, oh, yeah, for there. sure. <laughs> well, we need to check and make sure that that place better have truly high-speed internet. It does. I asked him. Cause... And the other thing is, is we have 45 days to, uh, to get all of our accommodations met. Oh, like, okay. in case we want, like, to have, like, somebody mow the grass before we come or something, we have 45 <laughs> days to put in just, that request. Yeah, we're, nobody's going to go outside in that so, group, except yeah. to get in the car and drive to TI. I'm going to just try... request that there's, like, a lawn mower there. I would <laughs> like to mow the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> would you prefer a riding mower or a push mower? <laughs> So, like, <laughs> for accommodations to be made, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, there I, be. Where, I, where I swear to God I was trying to start this okay. episode about okay. Dota 2. Okay. okay. It was right. about wrapping up. We, I we got have, it to TI, man. Yeah, you did do that, <laughs> which which kind of segues nicely into a little game I like to call he Dota 2. He threw the ball and you caught it. I'm telling you, he's great at throwing <laughs> the ball, dude. Uh, March to 3K Madness is over. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I did make it to a height of 3.5, and then I just I just dropped. I dropped like 1,300 MMR and then another 400, and I'm currently sitting at 22. But it was great to make it to 3.5K. Um, really, I just got paired up against Gorgon's Techies like 50 times in a row and just lost all that MMR. So. What, what is your – What? let's see. I'm going to pull it up real quick, see where you ended. I think the greatest thing to come out of that that whole experiment was the uh, General Denny. Oh yeah, General, <laughs> General Denny. Cyphus, the fucking just General Denny. I Denny. heard you, bro. I yeah. heard you. I I'm glad you Easy can. Nice you okay. Are. Thank you. All right. Thank All right. you. Can we talk about no, this? No, no. Yeah, I would. But I would like. I would like to hear Easy's description of it because okay. yours is so biased. Okay. It's disgusting. Let's hear Easy because Easy only heard it from a stream. His is unbiased. He does not. He's not sitting in the same room. Let's hear it. No. All right. And I and I don't have to like worry about you looking at me funny or or whatever. I don't have to look at you tomorrow. <laughs> dude, <laughs> you you're bossy as fuck, dude. <laughs> <Out of t> <laughs> <laughs> so you're bossy as you're bossy as fuck. I mean, I honestly, it was probably all shit that like needed to be said. And when you make the argument that if no one's communicating, at least someone communicating is better than nothing. Um. I just, I would have been like, I'm the guy that says, yo, 2.5K, you probably don't know, I probably don't know, let's just try to dig this out of the hole, and how about you shut the fuck up and don't micromanage me. That's <laughs> but except that my commands are always like, please, come join why, me. Why are you getting defensive, dude? Okay, why are you getting you, defensive, huh? What, when, what I heard you in was a game that was like, somebody was doing some stupid shit, you were pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm so, sure. So it was it was not like a like hey <laughs> Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to another game of Dota 2. I'm Cyphus. I'm hey. going to be micromanaging you the entire time. How's it going? Your ears are usually a good vibe. <laughs> no, you, were, you were past the point of giving a fuck about being polite. Oh, yeah. I okay. heard you. That happened. So I might have oh, caught yeah. you in one of your weak moments, but to me, that really encapsulated the whole... 
general Denny thing. I I got it when he made the joke because I had already experienced that, <laughs> and uh, it was a it's a side of you that I don't think a lot of. I mean, you, we dude, the backlash from Roland even accusing you of that was like, whoa, whoa, we got, whoa! We got don't emails. Dare dude. say that about yeah, we got emails. Cyphus, Cyphus is because I'm a fucking nice guy, this. and the guy never emailed us back because he wanted Cyphus to respond to him, not me. Yeah, <laughs> and I've made very yeah. clear that it was me responding. I said several times that it was me, and I was like. You just got lucky with the we games were... that you got with him. Oh, yeah. I was like, he plays a lot of Dota. thank you, thank yeah. you very much for that email, because it was fun reading that, and it did yes. just play into the whole mythos of the whole thing, which is, General is not a fairy tale, dude. Hey, look. I want to see, like, I want okay, a picture I, of I, you I, superimposed I've on never, a, a I've soldier. Never said, I've never said I don't rage. I've never said that I don't rage. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, you totally have. Oh, yeah. I, what I've said that is that I... Barely ever Dude, rage. It's not the 2016 elections. We don't need to backtrack, okay? We don't well, need to try and backtrack, I, okay? Is, everybody listening to this who's played with you has had a. I get that everyone's like, that was not him. There's no fucking way that was him. Because, dude, I've never had a game where you've been nope. like, easy, you dumb fuck. But or let him, like, but to let him explain, lose. You've tried to explain. I lose with him all the fucking time. No, I mean, like. Tried to, like oh, go ahead. Explain Sorry. something to me, you know, where you're like, dude, you. Probably what you needed to do there easy was this. Like it's always super general, like like in conversational even. If you I, feel I like, like you need to. to bring it up. I'm sure everybody in Dot P has had that experience with you. These were fucking strangers and you didn't give a fuck. Yeah, analogy time. <laughs> analogy time oh yet God. again, okay? Uh, We've got a herd, okay? Say a herd of wolves, alright? And he's nice to every packs. Packs, packs of wolves. wolves. Yeah. He's nice to everybody in that pack, and everybody in the pack is like, damn, that's a cool wolf. Like he's Gen- General Denny's a nice wolf. Like, he's a super <laughs> nice wolf. But then when General Denny goes out and hangs out with other packs, he's a fucking dick. And he's like, hey, why don't you clean your paws a little bit better? Or your your, your oh den God. isn't doing as well as my den. No, nah, that's bullshit. And then he comes back to I, our I, pack. I say that's bullshit. And, and he's super nice. I, I, I yeah, I, I definitely call he's bullshit. A, he's a sheep in wolf. No, if he's it, a wolf I, in sheep's clothing. I, I think if it happens... That was... A f- a lame analogy. <laughs> well, getting to yeah. end, dude. <laughs> well, you know, I've got to hold up to my standard. I think if it's less than one, I think if it's less than one percent of the time, that's not a characteristic behavior. I don't know. It's your, okay. less than one. Do you think yeah. it happens less than one yeah. percent oh, yeah. of the time? That I rage on teammates on mic. Absolutely. I, wow. I would say never for me, honestly. Oh, bullshit. I've watched Get you. I've been... <laughs> <laughs> At least not on stream oh, and nobody's ever seen it. If so that's fine. And the person I'm... Uh, re- realistically, the person I'm most likely to be enraged by is you in a game. Like, Because I really like not. the jungle. They had kind of a little intervention with me last night where they were like, dude, like... You're good at this game, and like maybe you just need to get out of the jungle, dude. Like, yeah, stop maybe... fucking doing well, no, that, please, because it really puts a burden on everybody else. To not, to like, like everybody's got to step up and, and the we game... get it. Like, you're coming, we get it, you're coming, but we're fucking dying, and there's no towers left. And if you could have maybe came like five minutes ago, the game. All right, the game that the game that broke it, like where it had to be discussed. <laughs> was a game where he he we he last picked we were I think we were a four stack I want to say or maybe we were a three stack uh, but one of the guys was going mid oh, I know Wazoo was in the game one of the guys was going mid one of the guys was supporting I was playing an off laner and there's one spot left it it needs to be a jungler it needs to be a four slot support and Roland says I'm gonna tinker jungle tinker jungle is actually really because awesome. we're radiant. Uh, it just happened. There was Tinker Jungle. <laughs> Eric, Eric, you were there for the first Tinker Jungle. Okay, you saw that. Right, but if it happens uh, one in 12 there. times or one in 15 times. Sure, I know it was garbage. Like, I know I'm yeah. not going to do it again. But, like, it worked once. Yeah, it, right. And but it was you gotta awesome. you got to understand, man, like, where we, where, we, where we live, man. You remember that, the one that, time. That, we remember the 15. No-tail song is true where we live, man. <laughs> Anything can work. <laughs> It's just the once like that, or twice. <laughs> yeah, we Anything. we thoroughly you can remember never count all the times the it doesn't to work. Be good Dude, enough to stop you. I stopped doing that and I've started viper jungling, so it's fine. Everything <laughs> yeah. is fine. So, like, but no. Okay, so here's what happens in this tinker game. Uh, he's he like I could tell that it was it was bugging you because you were trying you got your boots travel up and you were trying to port around to do some split pushing. You managed to get like a tier one top, I think. 
Um, and then you just started getting jumped. And, and I want I want to say they had oh, a nature's oh, prophet oh, on the team. No, who, it wasn't a nature's. It was um. They had um a uh, a bane. I want to no. It wasn't a bane. They, they did have a bane. They ha- they so the bane sucked because anytime I was anywhere, I was just grabbed and dead. And I want to say like um. It was a Blink Slardar, I think. Oh, yeah. And he was just, yes, like, really yes. good. And he would just get me. <laughs> yeah, and, and he so... he just fucking get me every time he And was... so you, you you fed, like, you were in the jungle for about 15 minutes getting your boots to travel and no, whatever else you got. I got uh... yeah, about that. <laughs> then, you, you know, you argued however you want. Uh, maybe it was the fastest boots to travel anybody ever got in the history of Dota. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <clears throat> you fed like five or six kills doing the porting around thing, uh, and then I could tell that like, you were playing kills. on tilt. I you had, had a couple of kills that were set up by fights that you Look, were just baiting. I don't need to defend team. myself to you, okay? I don't. I, then, I've been seeing a therapist knew, and she's been saying I that I don't need to defend myself. I felt the desperation when you realized that because I was playing Spirit Breaker that you could pour, with Boots Travel level 2 you could port in on me and when I was charging somebody I got those really quick you picked those up pretty fast which probably at the time wasn't the item to grab no it wasn't and, but, but I thought we were going to do cool ganks where right. like Boots of Travel <laughs> we were already charging. so far behind and all you kept doing was going go on charge that guy charge that guy and I'm like he's not alone and you're like yeah he's the only one on the map I'm like yeah that's the problem he's the only one on the map <laughs> It was so cool. <laughs> we tried it once. I bought the boots of upgraded boots of travel once, and it was like, because you have to figure out the timing, right? Because it takes like four seconds to pour it in, and like you have to do like distance equals rate times time, basically. Like when do I port onto the spirit breaker to arrive at the de- at the you know location of the enemy? Right. Time. That it, sounds like a great combo. Yeah, it was it was fucking it was, fun. It was but cool Cyphus was one unwilling time. to work with me. He was unwilling to I, work yeah, with me. Unwilling. <laughs> unwilling to Cyphus was throw unwilling myself to work with me. into dangerous situations unnecessarily. You know what I, I just drum it up to map presence, really. Um, I have great map presence. Oh, the worst and you, map presence. And you don't have, you have good the worst map presence. map presence of anybody. So, <clears throat> I mean, that's what I just drum it up to. But yeah. really, if we want to move on, I think that the audience would appreciate Anyway, that game was a disaster, to say the least. This. And he was not the only problem in that game. There were a lot of problems. Yeah, I know. What's, super, yeah. what's super funny, I just am I'm really realizing this right now, as you just said, the audience would probably want to move on, is <laughs> when, you, when you shit talk Cyphus. <laughs> You get a bunch of emails saying, fuck you, that's not right. But I guarantee there's going to be a million people saying, I fucking hate it when Roland does that. Oh my god, dude. And just agree like a million percent. Oh, the whole community has been harmed by his actions in some way. I mean, whether we've we watched them on those stream, emails. we don't read games. those emails. We, those emails go straight to spam. It's, it's just spam bots that think that jungling is a bad thing, and people make spam bots all the time to do that. That goes straight to spam if you talk about our, the jungle. But. Yeah, yeah, about, finds rolling about General Denny, you know, <laughs> yeah. just auto filtered out. <laughs> so March to 3K Mandis, your MMR is not currently listed. I know, I took it off. W- why? Because I don't want to gloat that I got <laughs> 3K. <laughs> I just, I wanted, I wanted to be humble. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I don't want to gloat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like 2200. Okay. Yeah, I made it to 2475. 2475 was the highest MMR I've ever been. Um, I've almost made it to 2500. I got. I couldn't do Spectre anymore, guys. I was like, I'm gonna Spectre all the way to 3K. Maybe I could have. Maybe not. Probably not. But after I did that Spectre run, Yasp has an estimated MMR. The highest estimated MMR I've ever had was 2944. And that's when I was like, you know what? Like, I'm there already. Why do I need to be a tryhard? You know what I mean? Yeah. I just... Yeah. No, I didn't make it. Um, and there was no way. Uh, I, I there realized... Was, I, oh, we realized... Re- well, I, I realized I was, about... Yeah, I, was I realized about schedule. eight or nine days into it that I, it was an impossibility for me. Because I hit... Because um, you were going backwards. Oh, I went backwards hard. So on... Um, Let's see. Oh, that's my that's my win rate, not my. So on uh, March first, my MMR was twenty eighty eight. I hit a peak of twenty two, and then like twenty two thirteen. Uh, yeah, twenty two fifteen, and then uh, my low point was nineteen thirty nine. No, I thought you were hitting like the eighteen hundreds and shit, dude. Uh, no, nineteen. 
was the lowest that I've got, at least according yeah. to Dota. This is the lowest I've been. I've been on like a slow, like Fafnir at the start of the, the 3K thing was like, he like looked at my Dota buff and was like, I know you love Arc Warden, but don't use that as your climbing hero. And it's like, <laughs> you'd be surprised at how many times I've played Arc Warden and dropped multiple Divine Rapiers. And I don't know. I'm starting oh, to hate yeah. that hero. It sucks. It's so stupid that when he dies, you lose the Divine Rapiers. Yeah, it's so dumb. That's it only so, happens on every other hero in the game. That's so dumb. I feel like <laughs> if they're ever to make an exception, just, no, I'm just joking. Like, I do the stupidest shit, too. I'm, like, it's always when I'm at my most confident when I go to my lowest point. <laughs> when I'm like, I've got two divine rapiers, but like, I need to go to the hard camp to use my Midas, and may as well go to the further hard camp, the one that's closer to their side. Mind you, this is probably like yeah. 50 minutes into the game, yeah. <laughs> like when your Midas has probably already paid off, and you definitely don't need to put your primary character at yeah. risk to use Lum it's And then it's like, <laughs> I don't know, dude, apparently they just all came there. When I've tried to go solo Roche, oh. and I was like, it's bullshit, man, really. Every time, so surprised. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. I did see, I did see, uh... <laughs> I'll never forget the Shadow Fiend incident in the Roche pit. That will always be one of my favorite moments with you. That's been, like, nearly uh, six uh, months, oh, maybe longer. Longer, longer. That might be over, that's probably over a year old. Whereas I'll like, never, I just want to go in there and kill yeah, everybody. I'm going to kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Feed a kill. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I, you had one of those moments more recently where, like, everybody on the team... I think you were playing an Earthshaker, and this was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, but he's playing an I Earthshaker. haven't played Earthshaker. Yeah, it's you, definitely not uh, Earthshaker. Yeah, it was Earthshaker. You got the hero wrong. <laughs> so he's playing Earthshaker. I'm, I'm positive of this. Uh, we're all up, like, in five or six seconds, and we're about to get raxed, and we're like, wait for us, we'll be there. You've got Echo up, that's great. And then he's like, nah, I got this. And he just <laughs> <laughs> blinks in and echo slams. And it does, no. like, it does like half damage to everybody. I know it, what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Earthshaker. I think it was like another big ult hero. I'm pretty sure it was Earthshaker. It might have been regardless, Tidehunter. Because I've been playing Regardless, he's dead in about two seconds right as the rest of us <laughs> pop back up. And the biggest team fight ult on the team No, I wasted. remember I thought I was tanky, too. So it couldn't have been Earthshaker. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, and it was really embarrassing. Yeah, it was a... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was a fantastic Where one. I was like, no, I got this. Check this out. Like, wait, guys, check this out. And then I go in and it's like... You drew everybody's attention yeah. to you? Yeah, it was like... pulled a bonehead move? <laughs> yeah, and then pulled, like, the boneheadest of bonehead moves. I know it wasn't Earthshaker. I knew, <laughs> but I know it was, like, exactly that scenario. Uh, it couldn't uh... have been tied... Let's see. I mean, if it was a tide, that was a huge waste. Because yeah, like, it was something though where I was or... I was convinced that it was gonna just like fucking work <laughs> and be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like it might have been a techie's suicide, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I I, 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 was I, like, re I really do think it was an Earthshaker, but you know. anyway, no, I know I do that all the time. And oh you no, know, it was a, it was a uh, maybe it was a Sand King. Maybe it was oh, a Sand yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, it was Sand King. And I was and I was thinking I was way tank because I had like shivas and i had like i was like late game sand king like octarine core ags uh blink like all sorts of shit and i was like no i got it and it's like dude just yep. wait just wait and i'm like no up easy you were in this game i found it okay i, I found it. easy you were in this game okay yeah, With, fantastic uh, you, you were on a disruptor <laughs> And, and we were probably the whole time like, oh my god, Sand King and Disruptor, dude. They're like two peas in a pod, man. Like That's they're like be yeah. <laughs> every time we I play a hero with his disruptor, we were like we're like, wow, dude, like this is a great combo. What did we play recently that we thought was awesome with Disruptor? Oh god uh, damn it. Um it was awesome, and you're like, you wouldn't think this would be so great. Uh Yeah, what was it? Fuck. What the Fuck. I can't remember games we played together. Dude, it was so good, though, and it was, like, this, like, secret combo that you were like, wow, this is, like, working so well. Ricky! Yeah. No, it wasn't that. Yeah. I don't I, think it was well, that. Well, that was a good combo, I remember, when you played Ricky with it. Oh, no, it was Ricky with it, because I would ult in the middle of your ult, and they would just, like, take all those hits, and then I'd smoke down. The and, like... last Disruptor game you played with him, you were on Pudge. No, that was so. Go back one more game or two more games. That was. Let's a, talk about that no. one. Dude. <laughs> I got a lot of good hooks. It's just our team didn't have follow up. Our team didn't have the follow up that was necessary for that game. Uh, our team couldn't like throw the person into the hook where you had thrown it. <laughs> like, was it maybe that Sand King game? 
Y- yeah, maybe. Because, I mean, I guess the the combination. Of I know your I played a rookie disruptor. I know I played your Ricky. old disruptor's ult and the kinetic field. Probably, I mean, that's it was definitely know. Ricky disruptor that we played one time. We're like, dude, this is fucking. Like, you can glimpse him back. I can smoke him. Like, cause the it, it is a great combination. Like, think about it. Glimpse. I just follow that orb and I put the smoke down. So they're coming out of the glimpse, not able to cast anything, which gives easy time to set up his ult perfectly and the kinetic field perfectly. To which I'm then maybe going into my ult, you know, because they're stuck there and I'm going to get maximum hits off of it. Or maybe I'm just, you know, using my W every four seconds. I, like, it was it was fun. It yeah. was it was really cool. It was a cool combination. Um, we lost, but nah. <laughs> one, I think we won, but we may have lost. I don't know. We yeah. probably won by 50. We, dude, we usually win. Like we, but lately we've been winning a lot. I'd say. Dude, uh, we've we've reached the point of the show where we've talked enough about Dota that I fucking want to play now. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. I want to play. I, I would. I'm gonna get a game in if you want to after this. I'm down. Cool. I'm down. Dude, I wish I could just like. I want VR so we can pound <laughs> you, it. You guys have a twenty eight point five seven percent win rate together this week. That's great. Do overall, dude. That's <laughs> bullshit. I'm talking like we win. When we play Dota together. We're probably together. 35%. No, we're above 50. Overall. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I guarantee it. Uh, the two of you together are a 45.57% overall matches. Played. And, you know, you, in math, you oh, always Oh, wait, that's last three months. I'll do all time. Yeah, please. And it, please have it go up by at least 5%. Uh, 45.89%. <laughs> yeah. Well, we dude. win a lot of games. I mean, to get to 45% means you had to have won a lot. You know? That's how that works. Uh, before we wrap everything, <laughs> we one thing I want to ask you guys both: Do you, I, I, I Roland, I know a little bit from you, but you should talk about it on the show. Uh, do you guys like the changes that have been made to the HUD with uh, the latest patch? Oh, I fucking love! Are it, you dude. talking about all pick being taken away? N- well, we should talk about that too, I guess. But no, I meant more like holding alt and seeing oh. spawn boxes and. Of and, course, I know. love it, but there's a part of me that thinks like. I do agree with like the oversimplification, but from a business standpoint, I would make my game as easy to play as possible. Hard to master, easy to play. Like those are like think of chess. Chess has stood the test of time because it's easy to learn, extremely hard to master. And I think that's what they're going for. Is look, we're not gonna make it so you have to like ambiguously like you know, I don't know, like walk in and out and be like, I think it's around this bush where the tower, you know, ranges. Yeah. Well, or it whatever. makes you have to use those those like visual markers a, a little bit. You, well, you don't have. To I love it for Ricky, uh, especially because it's like get, getting ready to snipe a courier. Like I know exactly my limitation because I'm just holding alt the entire time, and I have everything like show spawn box, show tower range, show uh, all of that. So when I'm pressing alt, it's just a bunch of boxes everywhere that I'm trying to you know avoid or sometimes block or what have you. I love it. Of course, I love it. I love yeah. it too. I, I think um, it's it's raised like the base level of you know. Like it makes the game the easier game to understand, and you you can mm-hmm. use that mechanic effectively. You it know, was a which smart is, you move. Can block camps intentionally. You can yeah. not block your camp when you're not trying to. You can put and wars to right me, on the edge. To me, it's like the more the less information you have to go do external research to learn, the better. The more stuff yeah. you can learn it, within the game while you're playing it through the course of playing it, I think that's where you want all of the learning to happen. If you have to go read like Reddit or go watch YouTube videos, that should be to try to gain additional information, not something like that, which is really fundamental. The it, fundamental it should be presented to you and laid out to you yeah. and explained to you in a way that you can then start mastering them. Let all there's so much complexity to Dota and hero interactions and everything else. You don't need it to be there. Yeah, exactly. no, I completely agree. I, yeah, why not? Like, I mean, it's the wisest move that that Valve could make to try to continue to grow Dota. Why not enhance its accessibility to not just you know the newcomers to the game, but the people who stumble into a into a stream and see you you know placing a ward? And why do, why does that guy place the ward there? Well, you get you to think see... how long I've been playing, and I've and to me that's super helpful. And I shouldn't need that knowledge at this point. Like I've fucking multiple years of Dota. You would assume I had that figured out, and to and that's just like refreshing as fuck to have that information available to yeah. me. But I see why some are are potentially upset about it. I mean, especially if it's if you're seven K or you're like Miracle, like 
you don't need that shit. You know what I mean? Or like PPD. But like, you don't have to use it either. You I know think, what I mean? Like, yeah, you know. Well, what do you give a fuck if the new players have it? It's so exactly. outside of your realm anyway. I saw some I mean, Reddit thread that was like, wow, they're just oversimplifying everything. And it's like, I appreciate it, but I I semi-understand where they're coming from. But I think it's a superiority complex. Yeah, I think I, it is. I, I, I agree I 100%. It's piss be- they're pissed because they, they fucking spent time looking at the out. drawing that some dude did on the internet. Well, which, look at PPD's video. against that. Just just a month ago, PPD put out a video of best places to ward, and he's like, "Here's where," the, and he and he has spawn boxes shown, which is still a valuable video to go see. Yeah, still valuable totally. to see, but he had to go into a custom game that showed spawn boxes back then, you know, and like be like, "You don't want to ward here because it's going to block your camp, so that's why you want to put sentries here and here," and like, can, and he had to like go into that custom game a hundred times well, to figure I, out those spawn boxes. I've even been watching purge videos where I hear him say something like, "Oh, that's." That's just outside the spawn box, I think. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't have put that right there. Or, yeah. You know, like I, yeah. You yeah, you know, it, and those are high level. If know, I was a pro, I would definitely have those on because it's oh, like, yeah. why not? Like you already know the best ward spot. Why not make it like just a little bit even better? You know what yeah. I mean? Well, so, or not have yeah. to worry about it. Not and, have to have that yeah, crush of mind. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Yeah. Completely. So. Um, yeah, a great addition. But I, I mean, I see why people are bitching, but I feel like it's unfounded. Yeah, to, to yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's it's understandable, but like the any I, I want to say that it's understandable, but again, like any time I really put any thought into it, it just feels like a superiority complex. It feels like I it's, want to be able to say that my game is really complex. Yeah, and, and it shouldn't be so easy aren't. for you idiots to understand it. Smart, it, smart business I plan. Like I, and I'm sure lot. we'll see more. Like uh, the uh, the bot matches, the guided bot matches. I thought that was a smart business move. Like if you yeah. teaching somebody how to play Dota is. Like, when Audrey had interest in learning, I realized how monumental it actually was. Well, or even, do we want to talk about what we've been doing in the past? Or, you know... What uh, well, yeah, no, we do. And just briefly, I want to mention this. Um, so, for the month of uh, April, April Smurf, Spring, May, good uh, no, MMR. No. We, Denny already. and I, so, <laughs> Cyphus and I, Failed we're working title. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working on the title. Cyphus and I, need a title. Cyphus and I started Smurfs um, f- uh, to play every single game together, meaning that not a single game would be played without both of us being present. And then we're going to do that in party all the way up until we get ranked. Okay, or until we get uh, our party MMR. And we've been meeting, like, literally... This is my first game of Dota, people. Okay? Yeah. Where they don't know what they're doing. They have, like, 3.5k gold, and it's all natural gold, and it's, like, 45 minutes. Like, they haven't earned that gold, and it's, like, they haven't spent it. Well, yeah. Well, the Sven, I think, legitimately <laughs> got some last hits. So, like, but the specific example you're talking about, we had a Sven. No, it was at a like, drow. It was no, a drow. It was a Sven at, like, 25 minutes that you, I, I hear, over here you say, and, hey, man, you got 3,500 gold, you got to spend it. And I click on him. And he literally still has a stout shield and like two tangos. No, he didn't even buy normal shit. I remember, like they're they're brand new to the game. These guys, and so we added them. We 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 won the game. Denny and I like are carrying these games because on the other team they're just as new of people, and I, apparently the good people on the team, on the enemy team, didn't really care to help them. But I, it was great. Like we made uh, people like. That we showed them the podcast and everything at the end, and we made a couple new friends where it was like, dude, you're still a person. Like, I don't feel like I'm superior over you because I, I've been playing Dota for two years. Like, I'm better at the game than you. Yeah, like, because this is your first game. But trust me, like, give yourself 200 games, and you'll be better than me. Um, and I'll help you do that. Like, I'll help you get to that point. Daunting proposition. <laughs> well, I mean, we just tried to help as much as possible, and it, it was and it was and then it was kind of it was it was fun at times. And I turned like, into the Dodger again on my Smurf, dude. Where it's like, dude, I don't want to play with. Like it was that guy was really nice, but like, let's get uh, let's just take our take our chances on getting another and I really bad. newbie person. So I invited him to the next yeah, game, and then even we kept like playing with this game. guy, and I was like, dude, I want to dodge, and you're like, you shouldn't dodge on your Smurf, <laughs> and I was like, of all places I shouldn't dodge would be on my main account, <laughs> not on my Smurf. Like, <laughs> is the point well, I, I, just, I felt up. bad. Like he was, we had, this this guy's like introduction to Dota was us being super nice to him, and then we're gonna follow that up with. We're not. See you later. Go out into the world. He needs yeah. to understand the world that he's getting into if he wants to be a Dota <laughs> player, dude. Like, it's a it's a dark, bleak place. Like, easy. Tell us. Tell me the story you told me on the phone about you getting off and having an hour of time. 
Oh, dude, it was it it was rough, dude. I had a, a like a one hour window of time to play a game, and I got into so I hopped on, started queued a match, got into a ranked match with it seemed like an okay team, and a guy picked a Spectre. It's like cool, we got a Spectre on our team, let's play, and. I was a juggernaut, and I was farming hella good, dude. I had the 20-minute Battle Fury challenge on, and I got it in 18 minutes on accident, which I fucking, that's probably, like, my fastest Battle Fury I've ever gotten, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, this is going hella good. We were winning our lane. And then I rotated mid, and the Spectre was in the mid lane, and he had, like, a poor man shield. It was, like, his highest up wet item, and he'd already gotten killed, like, three times. And I'm like, dude. So I go there, and I start farming, and he's like, really? You're going to take my farm? Like, dude, you don't have any farm. Like, we're we're in trouble. Like, I'm oh, gonna yeah. keep doing what I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and like, you need to the timber like, for the best. No, this was he was a spectator. This is a solo game oh, that Eric okay. only had time I was for by one myself, game. Myself, dude. Yeah, and then and then I the match ends and he fucking sucked, dude. He didn't buy any items. He bought an urn at like 45 minutes, and then he sends me a message and a friend request. He sends me a message and a friend request, or maybe he just. Yeah, I think it was a message and a friend request because you have to, like, do that to send a message. And he's like, you little fuck boy, you're going to take my farm and then talk shit to me. And I literally for, like, 30 minutes talked to that dude and was just like, <laughs> dude, like, I don't understand what your problem is, man. But, like, that wasn't a good game for you. And he's like, you're going to blame that on me. It was, like, started blaming all this other shit. And I said my staple, my staple thing that I say now, I said, dude, I bet in most games that go bad for you, you blame everybody else around you for the reason that that went bad. Look away from your computer screen for a second. That's why your fucking life sucks. Don't blame it on me, dude. You got shit to deal with. Have a nice day. And then I got off, and I, and I had to go to bed. Like, I got done talking to that dude for 30 minutes, and it was, like, the end of my window. Like, I'm already losing sleep for the next day. What a fucking shitty, like, one hour and a half experience. I'm like, dude, I could have played Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts on my Xbox 360 <laughs> and had more fucking fun than uh. what just fucking happened to me for an hour and a half. Like, why do people subject – when you have, like, that limited window, I, I get it, dude. I get why it's like, man, you need room for two games because you might need a recovery game. And the God fucking forbid both of those games go sideways and you have toxic players because then you're left, like – alone in the world <laughs> it sucked dude i had to go to bed and i was just like man did i just waste that hour and a half like god that's that, that was such a bummer yeah i've heard yeah, many that- people talk about this where they're like i don't like i'm a working professional and like i only have uh, enough time for like maybe a game maybe two before like you know i, I like eat dinner with my family i do this i do that and like maybe i can get a game in a night and it's like sometimes that's a fucking miserable experience and it's Which like, is a, yeah, that's a yeah. bummer, dude. You don't want that to happen a bunch of times. It's yeah. gl- it's a good thing that we have .p because and like the in houses and shit because there's always like, you know, in the back of your head the the understanding that that's not the world that we live in for yeah. the most part. And that yeah. that only happens when you're out in the wild. I always call it the wild, but <laughs> it only happens when you're out there. You know yeah. what I mean? And it it the consolation is that at least I'm a part of a community and a group of people that are fucking cool. Exactly. And I can any time, even right after that game, had I had the time, I could have hit somebody up that was online and talked about it, invented, and felt better. Yeah. Um, which is great. That's the greatest thing about that P man. I love it. They're not fair weather friends, that's for sure. Like I've had my moments uh, where like I've exemplified behaviors that I don't, you know, think are very dot P like, and like their people are very understanding, forgiving, and nice. It's cool. It's just, it's cool. They're and like, you know what, dude? People, a lot of people reached out to you and, and talked to you about that. And you, and you, in all honesty, without getting into the details, like, spoke back to them, like, very cordially and were and apologetic. And, mm-hmm. and I think recovered very well and did exactly what is expected of a person that is a part of Defense of the Patients. And shout out to our community for having, you know, the wherewithal to, come to Roland and, and speak about that type of a topic because we are a group that has a very high level of standards for how we treat each other and it's cool to see that everybody is, is interested in protecting that dude it's really everyone's held accountable and mm-hmm. everyone wants to do their part to to keep it that way which yep. is fantastic dude it's, it's, it's it, that was cool to see completely you know just as a side tangent that was really cool to see yeah. It wasn't – the situation was rough, but it was really cool to see how it it, we recovered from it as mm-hmm. a group. Yeah. I mean it's 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 really cool the way it's worked and 
and I don't know, like seeing the different um, like groups of friends with it, that still all unite under like the dot p banner, you know, where it's like you know some people in dot p may not even know some other people in dot p, but they all understand like the basic like just be not just be like basically we take I don't know if we take away the anonymity, but we make it so people don't want to be anonymous. You know what I mean? So and when you're not anonymous, that's when you're held accountable for your actions. And you, and that's when you become self-aware of that. And I think that's an important thing, yeah, to have. Anyway. I don't know. I've, There's, I, I always feel like we hit the like. I feel like we we've spent so many hours of this podcast like complaining about the behavior of the online community, and I mean, I know we will will continue to do it. Like it'll be hours still yet to come. Um, I I I don't know. I, I, yeah, the, this community feels like the the best thing and maybe like the the only thing that i've found thus far where that really gets like properly combated yeah no and and people have to like apologize and stuff like i in, in the internet age you can say whatever the fuck you want and you don't have to apologize yeah you know yeah. <laughs> like, well it's yeah. created a generation of entitled fucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know yeah it really has dude and those people don't have a place here and they learn very quickly <laughs> yeah and it's like it feels cool that like i don't know i've done plenty of things that i've apologized for and that like i you know i could have taken the stance of like whatever like nobody knows who i actually don't am fuck that. like I, when i go into a grocery store i say thank you when they check out, check me out. Like, I'm a good person, you know? I donated to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and put my name on there. It's Got like, me on the show, thanks. Yeah, and, and it's like, but like, I don't know. There's just something about like, you know, the lights are off. You you have the internet. Your name is fucking uh, whatever, laugh my ass off. AFK child, awful, laugh my ass off. And, and like, you know, I don't know. It's weird. And I, I, I love a place where people feel comfortable enough to say... I don't need to be anonymous. Like, you know, I don't know. It's cool to see. Or at least establishing an identity within a community yeah. relieves some of that anonymity. Not that you still can't be anonymous, you know, but. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm nothing like this in my real life, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, can, oh, I can't. Yeah. This is like this I can is personality certainly... number 3.5 for me. <laughs> can personally vouch for that. Yeah. We, we've, yeah, we've Eric is time actually. in person with easy. Yeah, he's. You know? fucking asshole if i if, you yeah, know if i've ever yeah. seen oh you should see the way he life. treats wait staff yeah um, <laughs> it's imba- you have to you have to cover your face I mean, oh yeah i mean yeah. it's like come on easy they're they're humans like <laughs> I, the hell. I know they've got a name tag he's on, just but. really nice on the internet it's a weird yeah. it's a weird thing it's in a public reverse. he's an asshole right. yeah so uh, let's, let's close it out on that. Yeah. Part. Anything? Anything uh, big coming up that we need to talk about, or have I mentioned or remembered? No, nothing other than you know, big shout out Good to Captain luck, Silver everybody. Fox. I do want to shout out to Captain Silver Fox one more time. He's doing great work on the website. The mock-ups that I've seen are awesome. Of course, this is a huge undertaking, especially for a single individual. So this is not something that's going to be tomorrow or next week. Um, and mind you, this is a free service. Yes. So like, yeah. it's not like we have any Captain say Silver to be Fox. like, yo, make this We're shit. We're not going to be knocking make on Silver it Fox's door. Yeah. Uh, yo, deadline is coming past. <laughs> yeah. This gigger, don't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, but the fact that he's willing to take such like an undertaking and, and be, I mean, our, his first tweet to defense of the patients was, I guess I, I can't, I'm paraphrasing of course, but. Like, I guess I should get on the ground floor, as it were. And, like, that was his first tweet to Defense of the Patients, and it was followed by Captain Silver Fox, and then a tweet to us by that. And it was really early on, and it, like, made me feel, like, really good, Remember, he, remember Captain Silver Fox is the guy that had a shit ton of bots following him, so we were like, who is this guy? Yeah, he had, like, 6,000 oh, yeah, followers. Right. He had, like, 6,000 <laughs> yeah. followers. Yeah. And we are like, oh, my God, like, who is this? Yeah, and it was, like, super exciting. And then, I mean, all the feedback he's given throughout the time. Like, he's never he's yeah, never he's been afraid been to, help. like, help out. So, like, I would say he's always been, like, a part of Defense the Patients. It's great that we've, like, found a place that he is exceptional and feels comfortable and, doing. And willing. And help. willing to help. So <laughs> Yeah, number one. Yeah, willing to help. Like, that's big. And a, a shout-out to Costello. Um, he's an animator. He's going to be animating some of our stuff. So... Big shout out to him, new listener, uh, interested, just started animation, 
Yeah, wanted to help defense of the patients. So, so yeah, keep an eye. You know, big shout Mike. out to Juice, the sound engineer oh, yeah. that's going to that's going a, a literally trained sound engineer. Like, but more than like you know an eight month like jerk off course that I took that was something that I don't even use but I gave a certificate like a real oh, life trust me, bro. studio you use your jerk off course <laughs> <laughs> like a studio engineer like a studio professional is going to be sitting in to make sure our recordings are fixed because. A lot of people had complaints about that, and we're not going to take that lightly. And we're not going to be like, ah, you dumb Redditors, you're all wrong. Our sound is excellent. It couldn't be changed one bit. Yeah, we, no, we recognize yeah. there are issues with Skype, and we have for some time. It's just been, we didn't realize what We didn't know how to were. fix it. So and yeah, it's cool that that's going to be addressed. And, the and community is soon. literally just like, we're crowd surfing right now on like people that are willing to help. Like, dot P is crowd surfing on a giant community of people just willing to keep it afloat. So, I that was a good one. That was a fucking that was, that good was a analogy. great analogy, dude. Yeah, that was a great <laughs> hey, analogy. One out of three. Uh, one out of three. It, dude. Yeah, yeah, one, one out, out of three. Well, let's go like one out of four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You got to keep. I, I, I want to wish everybody good luck on the uh, TI tickets. There's a lot of people in P that are making plans to meet up, road trip, all kinds of exciting stuff happening with the defense of the patients community at the international. So good luck to everybody that's going to be trying to get their tickets. Uh, I hope everybody that wants to go gets to go. And I'm excited well, to see that just... list grow and uh, meet everybody we didn't meet last year and see the people we saw last year again because that'll be awesome. Dude, well, we're, you... we are going to try and Roland semi spoiled this on the stream. We're going to try to set it up. <laughs> and I, I hate to say, don't, don't I hate to say their name because there's only like a few people on the stream. You don't okay. need to say. You don't need to say. Well, we're trying to set it up, so we're not sure where yet. Um, but we would like to set up uh, live recordings of the podcasts. Uh, for the show hosts who are going to be there, who managed to get tickets and everything, um, we'd like to set up live podcasts somewhere where folks could come and like be part of the show getting recorded. Yeah. Uh, and so. guys, don't stress out about tickets that much. Honestly, like even if you don't get one, Reddit is a great place to find them. A lot of people, like Easy, like Grouty, like a bunch of people that I know, are going to be buying multiple tickets, even though it's maybe just themselves that are going. Um, yeah, I'm and, gonna and, buy oh, as many as I can, yeah. and just be selling the ones I don't need to people in .p that couldn't get them or want them. Mm -hmm. So don't worry too much. Like I last year, we were all concerned about it because we couldn't find Wazoo a ticket, and, and we we were like, ah, oh, fuck it, let's just come anyway. And finding a ticket like was really easy. Even in Seattle, like even and as especially the event as was it going gets, on. It, it, yeah, you can get them from people that are standing right outside the arena, but even that if you don't want to stress with that reddit there was like a a thread that had popped up that was literally people exchanging tickets selling tickets because shit comes up between when you can buy them and when you go and a lot of people that get tickets for whatever reason aren't going to be able to make it and so they've got to sell them so you know don't get discouraged yeah i hope you get, them probably get a ticket. real on that day yeah um, you... but man the reality of the situation is a lot of fucking people are trying to buy tickets to that yeah. day so if you don't get them that day don't get discouraged but that will be a fun day to kind of talk to everybody and see who got in yeah yeah um, for sure i i'm looking forward to it yeah me too i mean I, 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 God, that's gonna be so fun dude i'm already fucking i'm looking for I'm psyched for it i'm super stoked dude. it's yeah. cool that this is this will be our our second ti like yeah as a group but I, and it's gonna be the same crew road tripping yeah easy is not gonna fly to seattle easy is gonna fly to utah on road trip and we're gonna <laughs> do we captain's did logs we again did we confirm that we, it's confirmed. Did we? <laughs> yes it's confirmed it is confirmed so, dude cyphus is the only one we have to convince but man he's over there going i'm fucked <laughs> no it is it is we will you will have so the first episode we're going to release is going to be another captain's log like we did last time uh, chronicling our journey from utah to seattle in a car because we have to take a car. I'm bringing all this equipment. I'm bringing yeah. three computers. I'm bringing, you know, microphones and cables and monitors and lights and all sorts of things. So uh, probably bring the camera as well. Definitely bring the camera. Why wouldn't I? For interviews? Holy shit. We have a camera now. Remember? Yeah, might as well. It's going to yeah, be cool. I bought this. Yeah, that, the recording equipment, and, you know, God only knows what yeah. in the way of, like, that you know, uh, uh, PC we'll have equipment. like a washing machine and everything, so you don't have to worry about like. Yeah, I'm not. Where, like we've got. Please, yeah, the squalor we lived in at the last. TI. I just yeah, I want you guys <laughs> to know that our first TI we I stayed. Put my clothes in there. We stayed at a very very 
reasonably priced place, okay? <laughs> and it was four no, people to I one mean, room. Here's the deal. We didn't we, we were scrambling so much to make those goddamn plans that we ended up booking the cheapest fucking hotel and it, it was, was the all, cheapest fucking hotel ever. It was ever. all that was available. And I want to tell you this year Dot P is staying in a mansion. No. No, it's not. A <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude. It's a house that we've re- that we've it, leased through Verbo. <laughs> and this year, location. And if you yeah. win a raffle, you may get to go. If you pitch in ten thousand dollars, we'll let you come and yeah. knock on the door and solicit. <laughs> oh my god, dude! All of your biggest fans are going to be lined up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so we, we, the the accommodations are going to be better because we realized like you can't you real and for those out who are planning to go like don't wait forever to book your hotel either because the options dry up really oh, really fast really quick. You'll be you'll be thirty five minutes out of town in a <laughs> shitty ass. Well, in that so. Motel Six we stayed at, like somebody died. Like two blocks, two blocks away, away. like we we saw the cops there investigating a murder as we were driving into TI. It was not a good place. Yeah, it was. It's SeaTac. I felt is where we fine. Stayed. I felt fine too. Yeah, I, I didn't nervous. think we were going to get murdered. I mean, we I was nervous. Doing anything. I was nervous about the equipment and the lock on the door and like yeah. being gone all day and having at least five thousand dollars of equipment in yeah. one yeah. of those rooms. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was that concerned was a about. Sketch. That's why I took pictures every single day and yeah. put, and had the date on the computer. Um, on all the computers, so it would like show like this is the date. Like Google, what is today's date? And like took pictures of everything. Yeah. Like just in case this isn't here when I get back, I have very detailed like information on like <laughs> maybe the hotel has to pay for it or something. Uh, no. Yeah, even I, though I, that I hotel would have been bankrupt if they had to pay for the <laughs> for my equipment too. <laughs> they wow. would have. Anyway, so wow. don't don't wait till the last minute yeah, because <laughs> you will not get access to decent places. And, no. You know, yeah, there are good options out there uh, other than the Motel 6. So. Yep, and get on it now because they're drying up quick, especially Verbo, V-R-B-O dot com, uh, Vacation Rentals, oh, Buyers no, Online. Like what is it called? Vacation <laughs> Rentals. By owner, I think. By owner, V-R-B-O dot com. That's a great way if, you have, if you're going with, like, a crew where you guys, it's cheaper than a hotel to rent a house. I promise. Yeah, uh, especially for a group. For a group, yeah, for a group, it is. It's definitely. cheaper to rent a house than for a hotel. for like two people. You're probably better off. If it were just like you and me going, we probably just get a couple of get a room at the Hilton. Just a single room. That's yeah. what we did at New York. Is just a single room because yeah, we don't mind. We don't mind rooming together. We don't mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, we always ask for a single bed because why do we need two beds? That's a waste. Well, I get cold. (laughs) God. Okay, end it, please. I feel. I feel like the acid reflux of that comment, dude. (laughs) Okay. Um, Yeah. If you guys want to find us, we're at defenseofthepatients.com. Email us at defenseofthepatients at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at p underscore show. Hit us up on Facebook. Give us a like there. We could always use them. Uh, send us reviews. We have one review that I, I is go ahead and read it. Yeah, it's ancient. It's uh, but from a guy in Ireland. Uh, love this podcast by Terminator seventy one, uh, and we are like five months behind on this one. If you're a scrub, then you'll love this podcast. They're very welcoming, regardless of MMR or skill level. Uh, it's just some guys who love Dota and want to share their experiences with us, and hopefully in the process have us learn something new and them themselves. Keep up the good work. Uh, thank you, Terminator seventy one, all the way over in Ireland. We we thoroughly appreciate it and hope you're uh, you know you're still listening and hanging around. Um, yeah, so iTunes is where you can find us. Of course, Stitcher, all your favorite podcast apps. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Defense of the Patients, where you can donate to the show, help us out, uh, help us you know keep the lights on, as it were. Uh, and the Amazon banner on the website. All right, that's all the plugs. It was like every God, plug. that's boring every time, dude. <laughs> we got to figure out a way to like just get that in a digestible pill. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't know, like a pre-recorded commercial. Yeah, that uh, would work. Yeah, God, that. If only I knew somebody with a lot of recording equipment and the time to do it. If only I knew Juice. Someone. We now know Juice. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God, I met Juice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? Am I forgetting something? No. I think that's it. All right, guys. Until and next stay time. stay tuned. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Good oh, show shows coming yeah. up this Try week. Hard. <laughs> yeah, check out the lineup, dude. Try Hard Tuesdays. Yeah. Wednesday yeah. Pro Show. Theory oh, Crap Thursday. The train for... doesn't stop a rolling. Yeah. And I guess we kind of did State of Affairs, but people really want to bring that back. Like, multiple people have told me, like, like that was the best thing about our show. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we stopped doing it. And so it's like, maybe we should do what they thought was the best part of our show. Too. Oh, who cares about market research or anything like that? <laughs> who, who cares about appeasing your fans? That would be dumb. Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, well, we did a little bit of state of affairs today. We got well, we'll get words. into the we, back. We, we like, can make it a more It's so easy. Section. We just literally have forgotten. Like, because our conversation is just so smooth. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, I got another plug. I'm going to be doing an interview on a podcast coming oh, up yeah. uh, called The People's History of Film. Um, I, I know that I've mentioned this podcast once before on the air, but uh, there's a podcast called The Good Trash Genre Cast. Uh, if you like movies, uh, if you like film, it's a really great podcast to listen to. They, they do like actual film analysis for uh, really like movies that don't ever get it. Uh, one of their more recent episodes that I listened to was like uh, on I Am Legend. Uh, and it's interesting to hear people with a, a film background in, in many of the cases and just generally a love of film, like really dissect a movie um, and get into more, you know, even philosophical elements of it. Uh, but they also have another podcast on their sister network uh, called The People's History of Film. And uh, they just get into, you know, your history with movies with various guests. And I'm going to be on that uh, sometime probably early May. I'm recording that interview later That's this month. That's pretty awesome. Do you know what you're going to be talking about? Yeah, they actually sent me all the – they're they're super professional. <laughs> they sent me all the questions, like, immediately upon hitting me up about it. Um, That's crazy. And, Imagine uh, if yeah. we did that with guests. <laughs> we I wonder if they that. would like that better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, yeah, as a, I can say as a guest, it was really cool to know everything I was going to be talking about in advance. <laughs> I think it's sabotage, honestly. I think they're trying yeah. to bring you on there to, you know, try and get to ask the hard questions like, so what yeah. is it like to be around Roland's abuse all the time? <laughs> and just, it's okay, you're safe here. You're safe yeah. here. <laughs> he can't find you here. <laughs> we heard what he said about Edward Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, no, so I anyway, they're really cool. Right. They're really cool folks. Um, Alexandra Brohannon is uh, one of the hosts on uh, Good Trash Genre Cast, and she's a big Dota Two fan. That's how they even know. Oh, about us. very cool. Uh, and so I, I, I assume listened to the show, and that's why she even hit me up in the first place. Well, that is very awesome. And so. you couldn't find a better guest than Cyphus. I will vouch for him. Oh like, yeah. No, I'm being serious. Like, I know that, like, I put on this act that, like, we argue and stuff, but in real life, we hold hands <laughs> and skip through daisy fields. Yeah. Uh, and we're then spoon, spoon in a single bed in a Motel 6. Well, unless Easy's yeah. there, and then I'm the... Easy's <laughs> no. the middle spoon. What we do... Easy's the little spoon, I'm the middle spoon. <laughs> I was so third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we, we share the same bed in... La well, with Wazoo, we had we were forced to share the same bed. More more realistically, though, it was, it was trying to decide... Who was going to get stuck with Wazoo each night? Yeah. Uh, that was the big I only really got solo bed once. Well, we all got solo bed once. Let's have a rotation. Eric right had solo bed the whole time well, he because he brought a blow mattress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that was the accommodations we had for that year. Uh, it was nice. It was, it was still, I still had a great fucking to, time. To so have my own take room. Back for anything, dude. Yeah. I, I am so looking forward to having my own room this time. Oh, that's my own fun. king size bed to, to go back to will be nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it will be good. I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys. That's going to be it for the show. Easy. I'm so glad you were available tonight to record with us because it's always way more fun. Me, dudes. Uh, we're thanks gonna... for having what are you talking about Thank... thanks for coming on your podcast yeah you know what I mean <laughs> like what and we're gonna try to do thanks more thanks for uh... having you thanks for having me Denny yeah. thanks yeah. you're welcome thanks for having me on the show dude you're welcome bitch. yeah wow <laughs> god dude yeah you're welcome Eric thanks for having you dude alright until yeah. until next yeah. time <laughs> this is Cyphus we're rolling an easy saying good luck and godspeed